Uh, we'll talk about discoid meniscus. It's an abnormal, uh, abnormal development of meniscus leading to a hypertrophic and discoid-shaped meniscus. Uh, it's also referred to as a popping knee syndrome. It occurs in 3 to 5 percent of the population. It's usually the lateral meniscus. Uh, in 25 percent of patients, this can be bilateral. There's a Watanabe classification, uh, which includes type 1, which is incomplete. The type 2 is complete. And the type 3 is the Risberg variant, which is a lack of uh, the posterior meniscal tibial attachments to the tibia. Patients will present with pain, clicking, and locking. They can have me mechanical symptoms, which are most pronounced in extension. On a radiograph, uh, you'll get an AP and lateral view, and you'll find a widened joint space in the lateral compartment. Uh, you can get squaring of the lateral condyle with cupping of the lateral tibial plateau. And you also, uh, you might see a, a hypoplastic lateral in the spine. On MRI, uh, this is a classic test question. I think I had uh, two OITE uh, tests that, that had uh, these MRI images uh, where you see three uh, sequential uh, images, all with the bow tie sign. And uh, this is classic for a, uh, a, um, a discoid meniscus. In a coronal view, uh, you'll see a thick, flat meniscal uh, uh, segment of tissue that extends across the entire lateral compartment. Treatment for this is Observation if they're asymptomatic. Um, if they are symptomatic, you can do a partial meniscectomy and saucerization. Um, the technique is, is really to um, is to recreate uh, a, a normal uh, morphology of the uh, lateral meniscus. And uh, I believe that may be the last slide. So again, it's been a real uh, privilege to be a part of this uh, MOC review. Uh, lots of credit to Brian Springer, uh, Joe Milescale, and, and Derek Moore, who have uh, poured a lot of effort uh, into these uh, into these talks and slides. Uh, we're merely just the talking heads representing the material, but these guys have spent uh, their entire careers educating. So um, thanks to those guys for putting this together. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.